Now, when I first became very, very um, seriously committed and concerned about studying this problem was almost exactly now 60 years ago when I left university. Now, at that time, we didn't have any of today's buzzwords, biodiversity loss, desertification, climate change. I just saw these as one issue. Without biodiversity loss, desertification doesn't occur. It is only a symptom. It's not even a problem, really. And without addressing desertification, you, we are not going to be able to deal with climate change realistically. So they really are one issue, but you couldn't even have a conference discussing them as one issue because our education, our organizations, everything are so siloed and compartmentalized. Now, thinking of this problem of uh, climate change, I got a shock shortly before our London conference last year when I read a report from an eminent group of scientists, philosophers, mathematicians in Oxford, and they put out a report on the five greatest dangers to humans' survival. And one of them wasn't climate change. And they explained why. Because according to their assessment, some parts of our planet will still be habitable. That means most of our cities are going to be gone. The entire cities. Okay, so that's what I want to talk about, but I don't want to this to be a doomsday talk, I'll offer you much more hope than that eminent group of scientists. Now, desertification, all right, not climate change, desertification, the symptoms of that are increasing frequency and severity of droughts, just as you're experiencing in California. They are poverty, social breakdown, rising uh, violence with that, pastoral genocide in many countries, and as some people have called it, pastoral suicide in this country, because ranchers should know better, uh, but the Western ranching culture is uh, dying out. It provides ideal recruitment for organizations like Al-Qaeda, etc., with the massive movement of people across borders, the boatloads of people drowning in the Mediterranean trying to reach Europe, all of these things and the violence associated with it and climate change are symptoms of desertification. Now, if you don't believe, as some might not believe, that climate change is real, all right, I can tell you one thing, desertification is real. So we'll talk about that because that's what's leading to climate change. So even if you don't believe in the fossil fuel cause of climate change, we'll still talk about desertification. Now let me start with agriculture, because this is the basis of civilization. Um, when you think about agriculture, without agriculture, we could not have a Wallace Stegner series of lectures. We couldn't have a university. We couldn't have an army. You can't have a church. You can't have a school, university, city. Agriculture is the basis of all of civilization. Now, Commonly, we are led to believe that agriculture is crop production. And if you watch people's language, they talk about it as though it was crop production. No, agriculture is the production of food and fiber from all of the world's lands and waters. So fisheries, forestries, wildlife, livestock, all of these are agriculture, okay, on which everything is dependent. 